Hello guys, and welcome to Equestrian Voice, the one podcast slash radio show slash interview show slash whatever we've decided to call it, um, where you are the star of the show. Mind telling them how it works, Silver? The fandom, uh, they've claimed that they're a lot different from every other fandom when they're really not. And uh, it was an idea of mine to just like bring the community together. All right, then, without further ado, let us start the interview with a man called Bird Turd. Hello. I would ask what is your name, but they've probably already heard that it's Bird Turd. Um, so I'm yep. going to skip ahead to the next question, which is, uh, how'd you uh, get your screen name? I just threw it out there. I was like, you know what? Bird pooped on my window and on my fleece the other day. I was like, why not? To be honest, it's just the most random thing I could come up with. Well, you know, sometimes that's the best type of thing. Random thing. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone's experienced the bird crap on car kind of And deal. serpent bird. Yeah. Um, so, next question would uh, be, how would the uh, fandom kind of describe you? Brony? Pegasus sister? Probably not. Uh, Clapper? Uh, whatever. Um, I'm your normal Brony. I really have no thoughts on the Cloppers or Grimdarks. Anyways, uh, so how would you describe yourself in uh, two to three sentences? Well, I'm a hardworking student who, uh, he always tries to, I mean, I always try to be loyal to my friends and help them out whenever they need it. I always try to look out for the others. It's an admirable trait. Um, so how would others describe you in two to three sentences? I don't know. Some people may think I'm too quiet or I talk too much, but I disagree. They just don't know me that well. Alright, how would people that uh, really know you probably describe you? A good friend. I mean, he always likes to help other friends out, and whatever it comes to, I'll help them out. In your own opinion, no holds barred, feel free to toot your own horn as much as you want here. Uh, How would you describe yourself? Me? Sometimes, I'll admit this, I can be a little <laughs> energetic sometimes, so I always like to goof off now and then, just keep everything light, but I'm serious about my work. Alright, um, you so far seem to be uh, actually a pretty, uh, a guy with a pretty good uh, general traits. Um, you want to just go ahead and pitch in here, uh, Silver? Actually, a uh, question up. So, um... Do you uh, advertise the fact that you're a brony, or do, are you a closet brony? On my on with my friends online, I don't mind advertising it, but in my real life, I'm a closet brony. I don't really want to admit it, nor do I have the chance to. Understandable. Yep. Um. So now that we have uh, the uh, kind of personal sort of questions about that uh, out of the way, um. What is your favorite pony? It can be a, a uh, main six pony, secondary pony, background pony, whatever. You also can't use OCs. That just yeah. defeats the purpose. Uh, Twilight Sparkle. All right. Uh, any reasons particularly why? Uh, she's also a hardworking student who, like me, I'm obsessed with work. Well, all right. That's uh. Not exactly how I describe myself, but uh... yeah, <laughs> I don't think many people can claim that. Yeah, what? I do. It's a rare trait. Um, but moving on. Uh, what do you think your uh, favorite episode would be? Gosh, decisions, decisions. Pro tip: It's uh, bridal gossip. Let's see. I remember. Wasn't it the twenty-sixth episode of season one where Pinky? I can't remember the name of it, but I know it's where Pinky goes a crazy... Party of One. Party of One. Yeah, Party of One. Alright, um, any, again, particular reasons you up for that above all else? I love the tea party scene. I just love it. It's just so goofy, so... Great. Well, um, that's, uh... An amazingly descriptive description, and uh, you must be a master of the arts, uh, an English major, if you can come up with such a pressing opinion upon the episode. Um, anyways, on to the next thing, um, what is your favorite song from the show itself? Uh, Let's see. 
Oh, winter wrap up. Um, kind of a choice. pop, kind of a popular choice actually. Um, I'd have to go with that's my favorite choice too, actually, considering a that's probably the most well known uh song, and b that's uh damn good song if you ask me. Um, so uh, what? So um, what would be your favorite moment from the show? The fact that they're trying to hide a surprise from Pinky, I just love how hard they try to hide it. Oh uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> odd, uh, odd way to describe success in that episode. Yep. But so you are probably well aware that there's quite a lot of uh, parts to the community, um, fan fiction, art, etc. So um, I'll break it down into chunks and. Uh, um, about fan fiction, is there uh, any like specific type of fan fiction that you enjoy? And I always look around for a good story, but I must say the best story that I have read is My Little Dash. It's just a great story. Just it's so heartwarming. Yep, the emotional ones. So about fan art, uh, any particular types of uh, fan art? Um... Hmm. I don't do as much fan art as I do reading. All right, fair enough. Um, any again, anything you want to pitch in with Silver? Maybe take over the questions for a bit. Uh, yeah, I can do that for sure. Um, all right, so you did the fan fiction. You did the art. Uh, do you listen to a lot of fan-made music? Yes, I do. Um, you want to give us an example of one of your favorite songs or artists? The Living Tombstone. He's a great artist, and Octavia theme music. Octavia theme music. All right, and um, you know uh. Those are the three major ones, I'd probably say, uh, music, art, and writing. But um, there are a whole lot of other parts of the community. Is there anything else that you'd like to point out? It seems like some parts of the art community are setting up stereotypes for bronies, and it's really getting on my nerves. Um, any, any, like, examples of uh, stuff? <sighs> Erotic fan fiction or pornography. I hate how people take it the wrong way and such. And they use it against me professionally. Yeah, that's that's always a uh, downside. That there's uh, there, but there's gonna be um, dark sides of all fandoms, and then there are gonna be people who will take dark side of, of uh, any fandom, however small it is, and then just kind of turn it against and say, "Hey, your whole fandom is a bunch of perverts." Now, GTFO. Um, moving away from edges of razors and such. Um, <laughs> Do you yourself do anything within the fandom, like writing or making music? I have been meaning to start doing art, because I remember having some art done a while ago that got into an art show, and I figure, why not give it a shot? Well, you know what, you're the only person, or whatever, that can tell yourself you can't do it, or some other inspirational stuff. I mean... Master of the uh, words there, uh, English major, 10 out of 10, would listen to again. Hey, uh, your, your sarcasm is so, like, 90s and British that it just doesn't affect me anymore. Well, what Good. can I say? I'm a uh, 90s British sarcasm fan. Uh, anyways, uh, that <laughs> Awk- was off topic. Awkward right, silence. So, um, <laughs> have you actually done any art, just like random like scraps that you thought about doing, or are you just planning on it? I have only been playing because I've been reading a bunch of guides all over the internet, such as Equestria Daily. They have some good guides on there. So, yeah, uh, well, uh, after that, now that um, our listeners out there, uh, however small an audience they may, they may be at this point, um, yeah. uh, we're going to uh, um, ask about any inspiration that you have. Do you have any real inspiration in related like, drawing or even just in general? No. Uh, some of the Octavia music I listened to, I must say, it did really motivate me with my violin. It really motivated me and made me play more. Oh, so you play the violin. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't touched my violin in quite a while, but I uh, do play it, so, occasionally, so. Um, now, uh, that we've covered that, we're gonna do kind of a, uh, something that might be a little unusual, uh, for interviews podcast, whatever the hell this is, um, and we're gonna do a, uh, segment where you can, uh, go ahead and ask, uh, us any, uh, two questions that you feel like asking us. Alright. What are your guys' 
What's your opinion on the haters? What's your stance? The people who have looked at it and have actually given the show a chance and uh, have looked into some of it and not just focused on the negative things about the community, if they don't like it, you know, that's their opinion. What I can't stand is those people that will see the show and say, Oh, ponies equals homosexuality, blah, well, blah, gay. And the people that don't give it a chance are the people that kind of piss me off, and that's... I'm assuming that's an opinion that would be shared by most people in the community. Well, yes. it's not so much they piss me off, because, I mean, I have a lot of friends that, like, enjoy doing that for some reason, and I can see where they get it, but, I mean... But most people don't realize is that no matter how you treat them, no matter how you respond, the moment you respond, they think they've won. There's nothing else that you can do. It doesn't matter if you've corrected them. It doesn't matter if you feel like you've won. They feel like they've won the moment you've paid a single amount of attention to them. Yep, and then there comes in the whole uh, don't feed the trolls mechanic. Yeah. Yeah, don't feed the terrorists. There's really, all you can do is hopefully you just ignore them. Unless you live next to them, in which case, go feel free to go ahead and beat the crap out of them because it's really hard to feel like you've won when you're in the hospital. Yeah. Um, um, moving on, I think that's uh, just about it. Um, I can't really think of much else uh, to ask. Uh, Silver, you got any uh, other thing else to ask? Uh, um, yeah, uh, just a random question. Um, you play violin, so you apparently have some musical talent of some sort, yeah. hopefully. Um, can, hopefully. Can you play Freebird? Can, can you play Freebird? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Freebird. I wish I could play that, but it's so... It plagues me, unfortunately. It plagues me. No, I think the question that I'm beginning to formulate in my mind now is... Can you do Gangnam Style? <laughs> <laughs> I think you I... just killed him. <laughs> God damn it, not again. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to get potential interviewees if we have a uh, reputation for killing them on our show. <laughs> uh, can I do Gangnam Style? Um, Gosh, that that's uh, just about it this for the interview. So um, to all those listeners, thanks for listening. Be sure to oh, check man. the uh, description for relevant links. Also, feel free to slam that like button like it's Vodka on a Saturday night. Leave a comment below with um, any uh, constructive criticism. However, we'll just ignore any comments saying, You guys are suck. It will probably also ignore actual criticism, though. <laughs> yeah, Hello. knowing the way we are, um, feel free to um, comment saying whatever you like, as long as it's not just random hate for no reason. Um, that was uh, Bird Turd, everyone. So if you ever meet him, credit card information, uh, social security number, and um, all personal information like such will be in the description. So if you want to stalk him, feel free to do that. Um, if you're interested in uh, being on the show, you can contact us at Equestrian Voice Crew, spelled C R U E at gmail.com. So yeah, I just remember, we won't accept interviewees any other way except by email, or else in the far future it will get extremely complicated. But yeah, um, email link is in the uh, description. Uh, pretty much any other links are in the description of this video, and uh, I'll see you guys next